People come into my salon all the time and they ask me, Maria, how do I do my hair the way you do it? So today I'm going to teach you the secrets on how to get the look, the salon look, at home. First we're going to wash, condition, and comb the hair. Next we're going to use a product to protect the hair. Then we're going to blow dry. This is called rough drying. And this is blow drying with a flat paddle brush. Either are fine. Your hair does not have to be completely dry to use this iron. Okay, so we're going to get started on flat ironing the hair. You want to have a clip like this, a claw clip or a straight clip. Because we're going to be sectioning to flat iron. So we're going to take the hair and we're going to clip it all up except for about three-fourths of an inch down at the bottom. If your hair is curlier, you want to take much thinner sections. The curlier it is, the more you have to straighten it. You want to have your iron set on about 300 to like 370 when you have pretty normal to straight hair. If your hair is really curly, I would put it all the way up to 450 just so you can get all those kinks out. So we want to have a comb and we want to have the hand professional. We're going to start off by making sure there's no tangles in the section that's dropped. You're going to take the iron in this hand and then the comb in your right hand and you're going to smooth it and take the iron flat iron down and alternate with the comb. As you can see you get a nice straight line. You can switch if you want to use your left hand your right hand you can do either side whatever is more comfortable for you. Again you're going to take the next section back a little further drop the hair that was already ironed and you're going to take the iron run it down and run the comb after. Run the iron down and the comb. And you get a nice, straight, smooth, sleek look. The back's a little bit harder. Sometimes it's, it's awkward for you. If your hair's longer, you can actually pull it all the way over your shoulder. For me, my hair's medium length. So you kind of want to reach around the back, put the flat iron there, and then use the comb as a guide. And then run it down again. Usually about one to two times for hair that's already pretty straight. If your hair's really curly, you're going to want to run it about three, four, maybe even five times. So right now I'm actually taking my next section and clipping it up. Again, no fancy clip ups, just kind of throw it out there. I'm going to take the iron again and the comb. We're going to make sure there's no knots. We're going to take this section and get the iron as close to the root as you can without actually burning your scalp. You don't want to do that. As you can see, I do it about two times and it gets real nice and straight. I'm going to take the next section. And again, you want to take second sections that are about an inch wide. You don't want to grab too much hair because that kind of defeats the purpose of getting the heat to smooth over that cuticle. And again, here's the awkward part in the back. So you grab that chunk of hair, you put the iron close to the root, and you're going to pull it down and then comb after. And that's going to keep the hair nice and straight while the heat's cooling. And come around to the side. And be careful of your ear. If you feel cautious there, you don't have to get too close. Unless you're super curly, then you want to extend it out and put the flat iron there and then pull it this way. And again, that's for extremely curly hair. As you can see, I already flat ironed two sections of the hair. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and you can get an idea and try it at home. To get the same products and tools that I use in this video, visit Masiko.com.